What's up guys? We are back for another Funko review, sort of. Not really. I mean, it's sort of a review, but it's also just another Funko cereal video. So if you caught the last video that I did for this stuff, it was the Freddy Krueger cereal. And I said in that review that, uh, you know, the one I really wanted was this one, the Lion-O cereal, the Thundercat cereal, for obvious reasons. And they finally put it out. This was a Funko pop-up shop exclusive on their website. I think it's still available as of me filming this. I think it's still available. It is horrifically expensive. Uh, let me get that out of the way. So I complained in the Freddy Krueger review that that cereal was expensive. And it was like eight bucks and it was at a physical store. FYE is where that one was exclusive. This is $12, so it's even more expensive. And I bought two of them because I have to keep one sealed because I do. And uh, so we've got two boxes. I'm going to open one. We're going to we're going to try it out. I'm assuming it's probably going to taste the same as the Freddy Krueger cereal, but I want to get this little guy out of here, too. Uh, so, yeah, this is pretty expensive stuff. It's definitely a boutique specialty item. You do get free shipping if you buy it, so that's a that's a plus at the very least. Save me a few dollars. But, uh, you know, I had to get it. It's Thundercats. I've wanted it. There's a Motu box that's likely coming at some point as well because they have shown that box off as well. Uh, so we'll have to get that one. But this is the main one. Um, I just had it. I couldn't pass it up, you know. So we've got uh, the same type of box that we saw with the Freddy Krueger one. This is the Lion-O version, obviously. I'm kind of upset that they didn't go a little further and do Lion-O's. That makes a lot more sense. I kind of wish they would have done that. But the whole cereal brand is called Funk-O's. So I kind of get that. But at the same time, that would have been funny. So we've got a, like a sky blue box. You can see Lion-O in pop form. We've got the box, uh, the bowl of cereal down here. We've got the little prize that's down in there. So it's a mini lion o pop and then uh, on the front and then the back has a uh, Thundercat insignia maze so you can kind of turn it around and you know like like normal cereal boxes where they have a, a little game or something on there so you can play so we're just gonna pop it open take a look again I'm expecting it to be the same kind of stuff as the Freddy Krueger I don't think Funko is going too crazy with different flavors but we'll find out I honestly don't remember what the Freddy Krueger one smelled like, so I'm not sure if it does or not. Yeah, it's the same stuff. So, not too crazy, I suppose. And I still don't... I still don't know what that flavor is. It's weird. A lot of people say it tastes like cardboard. I don't think it does. It definitely has a flavor. It's just kind of a kind of a citrusy berry kind of thing. It almost tastes kind of like tricks in a way, but not exactly. Consistency's pretty good though. So I'm just gonna try it out. I've gotta try it with milk, you know. I did it last time. I'm gonna be consistent here. So this time around we've got a Star Wars bowl. We got the Star Wars spoon because why not? Pour a little milk on there. And of course the, uh, the O's, they are orange you know, like Lion-O's uh, skin. It's okay. It's pretty good. I have I did not finish the Freddy Krueger box, so I will say that. It's okay. It's not the greatest. It's definitely a novelty thing. Uh, I had to get it. It's Thundercats. So, bottoms up. Yeah, it's kind of tricks-like. I think that's the best way to describe it. It's not... It's not tricks, but it's also kind of tricks. It's certainly not bad. It's just kind of weird. It's a hard to place flavor because I don't really have a lot of comparison for it. But it's pretty good. Uh, it's just hard for me to finish a whole box of this stuff because there's plenty of other better cereals out there. So that's kind of where it is. It's also monster cereal season, so that's what's in the house right now. Uh, pretty much nonstop. So here is our little pop. And these are kind of like the uh, the size of the keychain pops, I think. I've never, I don't actually own any of those. Uh, but this is, uh, you know, it's a small Lino pop. It's basically the same same sculpt as, I'm trying to find my Lino pop on the shelf. It looks to be pretty similar in sculpt to the, the main Lino pop, which is long vaulted. You can't get it easily anymore. I mean, you can buy it online, but you can't go to the store and buy it. Uh, if anything, I can say from, from a glance, because it's across the room right now, I should have pulled it down. The paint on this guy actually looks better. The cat's logo is uh, is pretty well done. Honestly, this is a very solid mini pop. 
So I'm pretty happy with this. I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, I mean, if anything, 12 bucks for this is it's not a great deal, but uh, that's what I wanted. We're going to do one last bite just to solidify what I'm thinking about this. Get a nice hearty spoonful. Yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. It's not great. It's not going to blow your mind. It certainly isn't better than... Uh, you know, what I have on the shelf right now at home in the cabinet, but it's pretty good. If anything, though, it's definitely a novelty. So it is, again, it's a Funko Web exclusive, so you got to buy it online. I don't think you can get it anywhere else anyway, so don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it is. It's not going to last forever, so if you want to get it, I would check it out now. Again, it was $12 free shipping. You get this much cereal, it's seven ounces, so it is a small bag of cereal inside of a very novelty-themed box for a very premium price that does ultimately include a pretty nifty prize, especially if you like Thundercats. So that's it, guys. Uh, just another quick taste test for the Funko cereal line. I think this solidifies my assumption that they are all the same. It's not terrible. It's pretty decent. You know, I'm going to finish this bowl for sure, but at the end of the day, I wanted this box. I'm going to keep another box sealed, and then I wanted this little dude, and he's going to go with all the other Funko Thundercat stuff. So, that's it. I'll catch you later.